So Easter is the biggest feast in the Catholic tradition. As you probably know, most of the Maltese are Catholic, so it is the, the, the main feast which most Maltese would celebrate. It is also a feast which unites us. Practically all of Malta celebrates this feast. So um, for that reason, it is celebrated in, in practically all the towns and villages in Malta. Easter celebrations are indeed intertwined, not only with the culture, but more important with the faith of the Maltese people. Um, it, there, there is this uh, important connection. We know we are continuing what has been given to us from our forefathers in terms of the participation in these celebrations. Um, the tradition goes back in time. In fact, most of the time it's, it's a matter of, of uh, parents passing on the tradition to their children. And obviously, so the, having a very, very deep roots in Malta, um, it means that it's, it's celebrated quite a lot um, during Easter. And it has been fate which has managed for the Maltese people to survive through the years. Well, I could possibly mention two milestones, one being the Great Siege in 1565, eventually even uh, the Second World War. Maltese people actually survived because of their fate. Um, first of all, there's the, let's say, the story behind Easter, you know? It's the story about um, Jesus, we all know the, know the story, but essentially even if you don't believe in Jesus, I mean, you still, it's a story which is likable about a good man who essentially was crucified because of his beliefs, something which I believe is still relevant to these days. Um, apart from that, um, I think when a tourist goes to a particular country, it's not just there to experience the, 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 the architecture or, or the entertainment, but he's also there to get the experience of that country. And in fact, a lot of tourists li like to experience what locals experience as well. So um, I think even non-religious would like to go into the, the experience of, um, <coughs> of, of that country and taste a little bit or live a little bit what the locals would go through throughout that period as well. For the past 10 years, I, I've actually managed to convince my, my fellow commissioners that it is important that we actually promote uh, the Good Friday procession. I mean, when you consider that we've been uh, preparing for this for the past six to seven weeks during Lent, um, it, it is important that we, we, we are aware that it can provide an, an added value to the tourist product. We're considering this as being um, a build-up up till 2018. Um, in fact, next year, well, this year, we're actually celebrating the 450th anniversary from the Great Siege of Malta. Next year, it will be the 450th anniversary from the foundation of Valletta. Um, the following year, we'll be having the presidency of the European Union, and after that, it will be Valletta 2018. I am pretty aware that there are Roman Catholics like us who don't have anything like this back home. So the fact that we, we have this treasure and, and we can actually um, portray what the way we celebrate our Easter to our fellow Roman Catholics, um, there is the possibility that they get even more involved within these three days, which is the climax of our faith as Roman Catholics.